Let's talk about the conditions that make something a poisson. I thought you said poisson and I was like, I, I, I can go for a croissant. No, a poisson. This one is really, really easy to identify. It is the only one that counts the number of times that an event occurs during an interval. Probability of the event is going to be the same for each interval. And the number of occurrences in one interval is independent of the number of occurrences in another. Okay, um, I, I want to show you, so sometimes you'll see this one written in different ways, which is what I was looking for, make sure I wrote it right. Um, the formula. So probability of x is constant. It is Euler's number, um, which Euler is spelled like this, which is why it's an E. Um, Euler is a scientist, um, and he discovered E, and it is on your calculator in two places. It's right above the division bar in blue right here, and it's also right over here under um, above natural log. It's got Euler's number with an exponent on it. So you can use um, either one, because in this case we do need to put an exponent on it. You can use the regular E and use the carrot key, or um, you can use the one that has the exponent on it. And then remember what factorial is, and you remember where to find it on your calculator? Okay. Um, so let me write down what M is. What M? Mu. You know what it is, but. In this case, mu is the mean number of occurrences, or average. Mm. 
Sometimes, because a uh, poisson is used, oh, I, I want to I say a lot, but because it's its own thing, sometimes you'll see this, instead of being written with an, an, an M or a mu, you'll see it written like this. It has its own letter. That's lambda, and it, it maybe it means the same thing. It's just that because because it, mu to us means mean, and in this case it's mean number over an interval. Sometimes people like to give it a new letter and call it lambda. Just so you know, if you see that, it's the exact same thing. You do it the exact same way. They're just using a different letter to I don't know, make it fancy, I guess. Mm -hmm. But that's lambda. That's Greek letter lambda. Okay, so flip, and we will do one. All right, the mean number of accidents per month at the intersection leading into OHS, which is Olympia High School, is four. What is the probability that any given month five accidents will occur at this intersection? So, our mu, or if we were being fancy, our lambda, is four. Our x value is going to be five. And you just plug into the formula. So we're looking for the probability of x or 5 is 4 to the 5 times e to the negative 4 over 5 factorial. You can plug that in your calculator. Um, it is hit math arrow over math to probability. Four. It's like four. So there you go. Or we could do second distribution, arrow down, there's Poisson. We have, we have an exact number, so it's a PDF. Think of that P um, as point. It's like a specific point. So I have, oh, I didn't need to do that. Example four, what is the probability that more than five accidents? Hold on just a second, I just realized that. What is the probability that more than five accidents will occur in any given month at this inter intersection? More than five. So it's it's cumulative. It's cumulative, but remember what I said about cumulative. Cumulative goes from zero to five. So then you would subtract it from one. There you go. I need more than five, so I'm going to subtract it from one. So I'm going to do, I'm going to write out what you're technically doing. You're technically doing one minus the probability of zero plus the probability of one plus the probability of two plus the probability of three plus the probability of four plus the probability of five. Now, when I plug when I plug in my values and I use 5 as my x, my cumulative is going to include 5. Your calculator is inclusive. It's very nice. It's inclusive. So it's going to include 5. That's okay this time because this said the probability that more than 5. So I can do 1. And, but what if that said, what is the probability that 5 or more accidents would occur? And then what do I need to do? Good. Think about that for a second. If it says five or more, what would you be putting here? One through four. One through four. 
which would mean when you go to plug it in your calculator on your cumulative, you'd only be going to four because your calculator is inclusive and it's going to include whatever number you put in. So we can go put it in. Nope, second. Distribution. This is Poisson and it's a, a cumulative one. So my lambda is four, my x value is five. I'm going to paste and I want one minus that and I get 2.1486, blah, blah, blah. So. Everybody okay? I just showed you how to do it on the calculator. Should we write stuff down? We probably should, shouldn't we? Okay, for geometric, let me see if I say, let's get an exact. So if it if you or, or, then you know that that's going to be cumulative because or means to add. So we're going to have to add some together. So that would be arrowing up to... Just don't forget that your calculator is inclusive. So watch the language on the question and 
make sure if you're being if you need to be inclusive that you're being inclusive. And if you don't, then you're not. All right, so we got uh, just a real quick little chart so that we can keep them all separate because this is it. This is the three. These are the three that will be on the test. So if you can do this, you're good. So for binomial distributions, the parameters are the things that you need to know. Are n and p. And once you find n and p, you can also find q. Remember the conditions. This one is bins. It has to be binomial. It has to have a fixed number of trials. It has to be independent. And this, the probability of success has to be the same for every trial that you have. That's what bins was for. Um, here's the formula. So on the test, when the test happens, um, you know what, this is going to be weird because it's on the computer. You know what, I don't even know and I'm not even, not even going to say it because I don't even know. I was going to tell you that, <laughs> I was going to tell you that I, I need you to be able to show me that you know the formula. So usually I just require that you write it down on the formula, but if you plug it in the calculator and get your answer. But I don't know how you can show me that you know the formula. I mean, that would be kind of a pain to have to type. I don't know. I don't know. So, I don't know. I'll figure it out. Um, maybe I'll just put a question on there that's like, what's the formula? And you get to choose. Okay, so that's the formula. But you can plug it in your calculator, binomial distribution, same thing, second distributive arrow up, and it's, you know, up there. I don't know. B, a. a and B. So, um, for a geometric distribution, the parameters that you need to know. There's no n value in geometric. There's just P and Q, but mostly P. And the important thing you need to know is that trials are repeated until there's a success. So trials aren't fixed, it's just until there's a success. And that formula is P times Q dx minus 1. And then Poisson, all you need is your mean or lambda. Important condition. It's over an interval. And there's your formula. Okay. That is it for this. Like, those are all the notes. This is it for this. Um, for this chapter. So right now you have the, the IXL assignments. Tomorrow, when, when we're not here, when I don't see you, 